looking for a way on how to get Metroid Prime 4 beyond a Nintendo Switch game into your Switch or into your PC, but in this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to run this game and play this game into your PC in 4K and in high FPS, stable FPS into your PC. So if you're interested in that, then watch this guy. So first of all, what you need is that you'll need to have a copy of all the files that I have highlighted here in my folder. So these are the base game of Metroid Prime 4 in XEFL format and also uh, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond Update in S NSP file format. So it's interchangeable and XEI and NSP file format is the file format that you need. You will also need uh, the latest firmware and the latest product keys of your Nintendo Switch. So be sure to get those from your Nintendo Switch and the latest build of Rubing Emulator into your PC. But before you follow this guide, I need you to agree that you have already purchased a legal copy of Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Some countries now, as is, the game has officially released, but for you, uh, you'll have to pre-order. So be sure that you have you own the game and you have pre-ordered the game because we do not support piracy here. We only do this in the legal way. So own the console, own the game. So if you have those, then you can proceed into this guide. So just go to Google now and just type in Rubing Emulator. So that's the emulator we need. Then go to their official GitHub page, click on the first result and then just hover down right below that says you can find the stable release here click on the here and then Ubin works for um, uh, Linux, Mac OS and Steam Deck so you just get those installer if you have them but for this video tutorial again we'll be focusing more on Windows version so click on it and download it now and since I have these files already I'm just gonna skip on that and I'm just gonna open the folder where I have it so this is the folder. And now to install a Ujinx or Ubing emulator, it's real simple. Just create a new folder, name it Ubing emulator, and then open the zip file that you have downloaded, open the publish file, and then just select all the files that is inside here, drag and drop into this folder here to install Ubing emulator. It's really simple, it's really easy to do. Then once uh, you have copied them, just open the folder and then select the application file of Ubing emulator to run the emulator. So I have already installed mine into a different drive, so I'm just gonna be delaying it. I'm just showing you how to install it easily into your PC. And also it is better that you um, put this emulator in an SSD drive. So I'm just gonna delete this, and I'm just gonna open my Ubing emulator. To so open your Ubing emulator, this first installation, uh, your Ubing emulator will not look like mine, which has games on it. For you, it will look empty because it will need some files from the Switch to be installed in your Ubing. So these are the files that you need to install. So these are the product keys and the title keys of the Switch and the firmware file of the Switch, which is version 21 for it to detect and play Metroid Prime or beyond. So I have the base game and I have the NSP update, which is version 1.1.0. So if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, um, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which you have modded, you have installed a custom firmware in it, because if it has a custom firmware, you can now access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those Nintendo Switch system files, all you have to do is just copy all of those files, transfer them into your PC. Just like mine here, I have them. And for you to get the game, there is no other way around this, but you should purchase the game, legally own the physical copy of the game, so that you'll have the game into a digital file format in XCI. Now, for those who don't know how to mod their own Switch, or don't know how to digitally back up their legally owned game, this is the next step for you. So, to get these files, just prepare your mobile phone, scan this QR code here with your QR code reader so that you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files. So once you are in the page, be sure to follow all of the instructions there to get a copy of these files. And once you have these files, be sure to transfer them now into your PC if you have downloaded them via your phone. So be sure to transfer them via Bluetooth or via USB. And I'm going to assume that you have the files now. So let's install them. So open Ubin emulator again. So the first thing that we'll need to install is the product keys of your Nintendo Switch. So just go to Actions, go to Install Keys, Install.Keys, and then create a new folder, name it Keys, open that, and put the product keys here. So open the product keys that you have downloaded, 
and then just drag and drop them into this folder here. Drag and drop them here to copy them. Okay, and I'm gonna close this one and then select the product keys, hit open, hit yes, and hit OK. Now, the next step is to install the firmware. So just go to Actions, Install Firmware, Install Firmware from XZR zip file. Now locate on the firmware file. So it's version 21, hit open, and it will say we'll have to install. Yes, hit OK. You'll know the installation is successful because right down here below it says version 21.0.0. .0 .0. And also, if you have Switch games, it will now be detected here. As you can see, I have lot of, lots of Switch games. So the game icons will be shown in each Switch game that you want. So I have Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond now. So um, to update your Metroid Prime 4 Beyond into the latest version, uh, what you need to do is just to right-click on the game icon game and just click Manage Title Updates. And as you can see here, mine has already selected version 1.1.0. For you, uh, you have to click on add and locate uh, the update here. And once you've located them, just hit save. So that's how you basically easily update your game. Now for the next step is the most important part, which is optimizing your Ubing emulator so that you'll be able to play Metro Prime 4 Beyond into your PC with no issues. And to do this, just go to options and go to settings. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. Again, pause the video, copy every setting. So, so this is my settings for the inter interface tab. Copy everything here. The game directory is, is subjective. This is where in you will store your Switch games and it could be anywhere into your PC, but be sure that it's in SSD so that the game will run much smoother and much faster. Once you're done here, go to input. So it's better that you use a controller when you play Switch games rather than a mouse and keyboard when playing Switch games. So you connect your PlayStation, Xbox, PC controller, or Nintendo Switch Pro controller here. Map them up according to your liking, but the dead zone for both left and right sticks, you should change those to 2.20. Once you're done, go to system. So region, language, time zone, and system time. This is this objective. You can change this to whatever you like here, but be sure to change the VSync is switch to switch. FS integrity checks is checked and it's in 4 GB of DRAM size. Now go to CPU, you uh, should check PPTC, who's unchecked, and 200%. Now go to graphics, um, graphics backend is in Vulkan API. Prefer GPU is you have a dedicated graphics card, release a GTX 1060 or an AMD equivalent to run Switch games and run them smoothly with those old cards. Now go check enable trader cache and enable macro HLO. Your solution scale, um, just change this to uh, to what monitor resolution you have, and if you want it to run in 4K, you can do that by changing it in a three times mode. But for those who have lower end of a PC and you have performance issues running Switch games, then you should change this back to native resolution. But for me, two times resolution is the best because that is my monitor resolution. I know that I can run the game in uh, 4K resolution, but I'm it's just 14, 14 so that's why it's in total times resolution. Now for everything else here, copy them, and for those who have lower end of the PC, you can change this to something like none in Intel aliasing and scaling filters should be in by linear, and everything else will be set to uh, auto or two times, and aspect ratio of this, your aspect ratio monitor. Then go to audio, really simple settings, copy them, and once you're done, hit apply and hit OK. Congratulations, your Ubing emulator is now fully optimized to run and play any Nintendo Switch games as well as the newly released Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. So a little bit of disclaimer, I will not be able to show you any gameplay at all of this game because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they do not support the Nintendo Switch emulation for PC. So if I show you the gameplay that I can run the game in 4K and 60fps stable or 120fps stable in my PC, then my channel will be taken down, my videos will be taken down because that's how petty Nintendo is and I hope you guys do understand on that part is why I can't show you any gameplay at all. I don't want my channel to be taken down, my videos will be taken down. So again, please do understand. But as long as you have followed all the steps that I have shown you in this guide, you'll be guaranteed to play the game. And again, this game is quite fairly big, so be sure that you have the SSD uh, storage to store the game. So 
If you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. And if you find this video helpful, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because that will help me out massively. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.